There's the hutch and everything in it. Scan tool. First drawer, socket drawer, metric, standard, mostly snap on, some odds and ends stuff. Wrench drawer, again, metric standard, a mix. My favorite drawer in this box. The old shit drawer, taps. What do you got in this black case right here? Well, I got the cheap, the big ones. Cause I only use those once in a great while. Ratchet drawer. Oh shit. Got an obsession. Mostly snap on too? Mostly snap on. I got two Mako wrenches. This one and the big one here. And then I got one Proto. Uh, this guy. What's that one? This is the Blue Point chain wrench. Worth its weight in gold. They don't make them anymore. You got a gold ratchet too? Oh yeah, the breaker bar. That? The snap on gold breaker bar. Quarter inch. Converted all the TKs. To drivers, three eighths, driver, three eighths, driver, three eighths, and then that's the only converted quarter inch I have to a three eighths. As far as long handle go, and then the stubby, the new stubby, half inch. Mostly snap on, but a mix. Really popular trim tool right there. Very much. Uh, mostly all picks. I do a lot of wiring harnesses, so this all comes in handy for that stuff. Uh, part of the diagnostic door. Serpentine belt puller, axle spline, or axle nut, threader, uh, filter and fuel filter, cup set. Uh, this is badass goes up to 500 PSI, it's Bluetooth enabled, hook it right to your phone, drive around with it. Fuel pressure, uh, oil pressure, training pressure, uh, compression, all of it in one. Uh, some quick hit snacks, uh, temp gate, temp gun stud removers, and various different clamps. Uh, the power tool drawer, mostly Milwaukee. I love the stuff. That's a badass. That guy's cool. I am starting to like the snap-on ratchet because of the the trigger. It is a little easier. And the magnets that are on the bottom. That makes things a little better. Still have a couple of air tools left. Uh, pullers, some hydraulic stuff, brake kit, car braking kits, big crescent wrenches. Gotta have those for bending shit. Files, some Allen heads. Love these spring pinches. Spring tool or snap on version of it. And that. Valve stuff, some cutting, some shears, gases, papers, all the stuff. The precision drawer, torque wrenches, feeler gauges, uh, angle gauge digital angle gauge. This is a good torque wrench if you want inch pounds. Mostly for our hybrids. Uh, various different pliers, obviously the bad boys. We haven't gotten the small set yet, but I'll get those when I get it. And then usually I keep these in my pocket. Nipix four inch Cobras. Various different other stuff. Puller, snap ring pliers. What else? I got chain wrench. Uh, you know, just special tools. Mostly bag stuff. Uh, for Toyotas, the best axle tool you can buy out. You can find them on eBay, Amazon. Uh, the whole kit's like 260 bucks. This will do any of our axles, and it makes it quite a bit easier. Not to mention, it pulls the cone rings off 
with this one without having to air hammer them off or split them. It's worth the money. Bits, bit drivers, stuff like that. Little specialty bit sets. Uh, junk drawer, bolts and nuts, and various different little stuff. Two of those drawers. Hammer, and a couple of drivers in there. And this is the 20 years of parts accumulation mostly seals wiring stuff i did forget to show this one it was down here oh yeah that thing's pretty badass yes. too big ass chisel i'll start with this here. so i ran one of those harbor freight magnetic uh Plugs, just ran the plug up through there, so everything's powered here. Jumper box, battery charger and power supply, my Milwaukee batteries. Uh, next drawer is drill bits, cutting stuff, burrs, all that. This is all my bushing drivers, seal drivers, all that stuff, bearing stuff. Uh, boroscope, battery stuff, hydraulic crimper, uh, pullers. And then we have big pressure test kit, hub tamer, Maco version of the hub tamer. Uh, what is that? That is the mini Venom. That is a puller set. Yeah, inside bearing puller set. And then that's the mini ductor, mini ven or the Venom 2. Uh, Here we call kits. Hydraulic ram for to make that into a hydraulic bearing puller, hub puller. And you got the snap on the LED under headlight over on this side. A drill operated pump with all the adapters for it. Smoke machine. Uh, that's a knockout punch that I use for also pulling bearings hydraulically. That's the adapters for that. That's a big time cert kit. Puller set, slide hammer set. This one? Uh, another time cert. Oh, that's the head gear. The thread repair for the head gaskets on the 2AZ, most real electrical stuff, snap-on tester, breakout, power probe breakout box, this thing is badass, buy these, uh, Blue Point makes one, it's about another 50 bucks more, yeah, but you can't get them here any, yet, view saver, various different things, Strippers, deep pin, pin connectors. Uh, that's the, what is that? I think that's my soldering here. Oh no, that's my relay tester. Pullers, installers, uh, mostly time about stuff. Ball joint and hub stuff. Is that that big snap on one? Yes, it is. You want to open it up real quick? I got a lot of likes and sure. views on YouTube for this thing. And when I say something doesn't belong to me, it's usually his. Everybody commented how crazy expensive this thing is. But it's, it's well badass. worth it. I mean, it does it. it. Does it well? This is another thing that actually isn't that expensive. But if you're doing a lot of U joints. This is the tool I have to take them off the drive shaft without hammering them all the shit. And that tool's fairly cheap. Uh, and then just 
various chemicals and whatnot. And what size box is this? This is the 732 Master Series, the biggest Master Series they make. 72 inches in length, 30 inches deep. Lockers are 24 inches nice. per side and 30 inches deep. 